The time has now come to suspend my campaign. Nikki Haley no longer running for president after an underwhelming Super Tuesday, winning only one state. This morning, Haley congratulating former President Trump without endorsing him. It is now up to Donald Trump to earn the votes of those in our party and beyond it. Both President Biden and Trump now turning to the general election. The presumptive nominees racing to win over Haley's supporters, a group that could be key in winning the White House. Haley's supporters yesterday. I wish there were two better options. It hurts my soul to say that I will vote for Joe Biden over Donald Trump. There's plenty of other people who are earlier in their careers who could run and do a better job than those two. Today in Wisconsin, Vice President Kamala Harris asked how they plan to beat Trump. We're one vote at a time. Trump picking up an endorsement from Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, even though he blamed Trump for the January 6th Capitol riot. McConnell now putting his full support behind Trump. And I said in February of 2021, shortly after the attack on the Capitol, that I would support President Trump if he were the nominee of our party, and he obviously is going to be the nominee of our party. Haley is not the only person to drop out today. On the Democratic side, Dean Phillips is ending his campaign. He failed to pick up any delegates in the primary. He did endorse President Trump. Perry Russom, ABC News, Washington.